Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading with me Cindy. Scorpio, we're doing fortune cookies and I got your cards all lined up. There was a little bit of a question, wasn't sure what to use for Libra, but yours came in instantly. We're gonna use the fortune cookie cards and then I'm gonna use my Oracle of the Radiant Sun and then I've got my um, Modern Spellcasters Tarot and then I've got my Everyday Teeny Tiny Witch Tarot. So we're gonna get started, just like that, bing, bang, boom. So we'll start with a fortune cookie. See what we got going on, Scorpio. So because it's a fortune cookie, it kind of feels like, like projecting a bit into your future. And I say a bit, because when I do the extended, I go um, further into the future. So this is kind of like, um, like right now, man, maybe in the next, I don't know why I'm compelled to say that, like 24 hours, so that's interesting. I don't really ever say anything like that. So maybe that's something for you next 24 hours from the time you watch this come back and put in the comments Cindy it didn't happen what happened two days later all right Scorpio what's going on for Scorps fortune cookie I swear something for yeah there opportunities and intuition wow opportunities an important offer will be made be prepared and trust to impress. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know if I ever pulled that out before. And then you got intuition with it. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Oh, exciting, exciting for you. So Scorpio, I feel like, I don't know. If y'all have been waiting, I'm sorry. I was... <laughs> I filled my thing up with ice and I'm sitting in the kitchen and the ice maker of the fridge keeps clunking. So that's what that is. Um, I feel like that there's some sort of offer that's going to be made to you. And this offer could be, a, now it says, you know, learn a new skill. So there could be something maybe you've been wanting to sign up for something so that you could learn more about something that you're interested in. Um, a change in careers or investment in money. These are all kind of exciting things. And so your intuition, what is your intuition Intuition telling you? What does it feel like this could be for you? Maybe it's all of them, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, woo! When the planets are in alignment, the planets are in alignment, right? So whatever your intuition is telling you, trust it. An important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress to impress. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa, oh, that's very Scorpio. Sexuality and signs are at the bottom. Sexuality. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. <laughs> it's like a big underline. And I'm not even done. A child will also bring great joy. <laughs> That's good. I don't know why I always get... Whenever I read that on here, a child will also bring great joy. It feels like like your kid finally took the dishes from their bedroom and brought them to the kitchen or something. Finally. Like the little things that your kid can bring you that are joyful. Or maybe a little baby smiles for the first time. Oh, I remember when my son smiled for the first time and made him giggle. I kept the chair that he did it in too. <laughs> I've kept that chair. Okay, signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. So, oh, this like, I could do a reading on like all of these, although these two feel very much bundled up together. There's a whole whack that comes in with that card. So anyways, let's go. Well, let's go to the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. So let's pull a card out for that, of that for you. That was funny. This deck, the card stock is difficult to deal with. It's thick and I find it starts to bend one way and then it bends too far and I honestly can't shuffle it anymore and I can't bend it the other way because it becomes too stiff. So I need to half the deck to be able to do that and my thumbs are just not strong enough. So let's, let's get this, let's get this right. Scorps, that's an exciting opportunity. An important offer will be made. So be so whatever this offer is, you're probably going somewhere. Maybe you're going to go to where you're going to learn this new skill. I don't know why I was drawn to the sexuality card. 
So maybe there's a new skill you're gonna learn in that. Uh, change careers. Obviously, if it's an, inter an interview, you wanna dress to impress. If it's invest money, you wanna go see a banker or someone. Well, that depends how you want it to go. If you want them to give you money, you should probably look responsible. <laughs> Status and achievement. Scorpio, let's just stop right here, okay? And I said in the next 24 hours, I don't know about that. This seems like big shit, but maybe it's been taking a long time coming. Oh, honey, you wouldn't believe the card you got in the bottom. You have Mars in Scorpio. Do you know what that card is called? Revenge. <laughs> so Scorpio on it. But this, this is... Um, Those two are having sex in the background, too. It's almost like you've conquered something. And, you know, like living your best life is the best revenge to have. I, I don't want to say on anyone or towards anything, because really, you're not living your best life if you're thinking about how others would perceive how good you're doing, right? Like, why are you even thinking about that? So I kind of paused there because of that. It's just... It's very scorpionic. It's it's your day, it's your win. It's your day, it's your win, and there is something to do with sexuality here. And I don't know if this is a new skill that you can acquire, or maybe, I just snorted, I really did, I just snorted. And you have the Empress and the Hierophant on the split. Because it even said too, now this is a funny thing, Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. So someone that you're already with, things could get like really steamy. It doesn't say what kind of relationship that is either, does it? So any kind of relationship. Mm. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. And I, okay, so I was drawn to it because of this, like the Empress and the Hierophant, that is very strong. Um, yeah, beautiful, abundant, committed energy. But if single, beware of temptation, it could lead to trouble. So just be careful. Keep your head about you. Status, this is kind of, I'm gonna to say too, you know, it's funny, um, it's an elevation. This Jupiter in Taurus. This is a an elevation. This is a, a possibly a marriage. Or it could be a business venture. Whatever it is, it elevates your status. This opportunity elevates your status. And it, it, it kind of has a two of cups feeling. Like I feel like the status of both these people is elevated. So if this is another person that you start something with, or if this is a new career or an investment, Jesus Murphy, right? And then you have the sun in Capricorn with this achievement card. This is, I'm hearing, you know, when you have the best sheets money can buy, you're also having the best sex. <laughs> I don't know where these readings are going. I should go back up to my room, <laughs> my room where I do this. If you are looking to change your career or invest your money in something, if your intuition is telling you this is a good thing to do, now I can't give any investment advice. I really can't give any advice. These are just cards. They're coming out and I'm telling you a story. And you're applying it to your life in the way that you would like to apply or the way you see that it should be applied. Um, and then it's all up to you. <laughs> so there's my big disclaimer in that. This turns into something big. It turns into something quite big. This is very... So let's see the opportunity and the um, your intuition. What this is all about. There is a little... There's two things flying around in here. One is a big beetle. And the other one is a little fruit fly. And they're driving me crazy. Ace of Wands. Woo! Four of Pentacles. The world... God, no, Leo, wow, this is almost like your drive, your desires, like being on hold, that shit's over. 
the shit's over. Your drive, your passion, your desires, your intuition, what you'd like to do with it, how you want to create your life. And the four of pentacles, you know, like you just gotta get by. You just gotta save your money and you know, save for a rainy day and oh shit, now you gotta get the transmission fixed on the car and that shit's over. Okay. Achievement. Your intuition. Ace of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Everything you say. There's the achievement. You've made it for your rainy day. This person is trying. Look at. They have nothing to cover all their things up with for a rainy day except themselves. This dude's got enough rocks to build something to cover everything up for a rainy day. And the Four of Cups. Very meditative. Your intuition. We're not done here. I want to see what's going on. No. I got it. Because there are so many things on this card that I would ask about. So we'll get there in a minute. After this, we have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom. Whoa. There's a lot coming in with this Two of Pentacles card. This dude is juggling Two Pentacles. There's a dog coming in with a little bag. And there's two boats on the horizon. So this kind of feels like a lot of things happening all of a sudden. And, you know, already feeling like you're juggling a lot, more keeps coming in. But it's, it seems to be pretty good stuff. There's an opportunity coming your way, an offer will be made. I'm not, and what the hell? I'm not really getting anything about what that is. I just feel like all of a sudden, like things change for you. This Ace of Wands... It's almost as if you know something for yourself because this is coming through the clouds, the ethereal, like this is like a God-given knowledge that you know about your life or your course of life or where you'll be, um, how you inspire yourself and how, you know, you would, where you want to, you have that now, let's do something with it. But no, just hang on, <laughs> just hang on. Oh, that looks like a puzzle piece in the, that's interesting. There were missing pieces to the puzzle here. That's why you had to hang on. The backdrop of your life. What was going on in the background while you were balancing your budget? <laughs> Four pentacles. You know, I'm thinking about, is he trying to trap the squirrel to have something to eat here? Because he's got a little, these four sticks. But right, well, this is the one stick, the Ace of Wands. Flying with this desire, this passion, this excitement. And then mm, being practical, the four, but the four of Wands is celebrating, but it's on the ground. It's more like a trap. Four, well, that's really interesting because the Four of Wands is, you know, often described too as like a, a marriage card. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, it's a trap. The world like this comes to an end you close that off i really need to clarify because not telling me what the offer is whatever i mean it could be a marriage offer with this but it's something i feel like it's an offer where you feel physical growth and abundance you know with jupiter things are growing and expanding and with taurus this is like the physical things in your life that give you luxury and pleasure and security and safety. Let's clarify. Let's get in there. What comes in after the world? Dummy. Let's see. What is... What's the important offer? What is the important offer? Not very really fast. Oh, the high priest is a fucking secret. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> okay. It's a secret. The high priestess. Okay, be prepared to be prepared and dress to impress. So be prepared. If it's a job interview, don't be prepared. I don't know how many people go into interviews and they're not prepared. Know everything there is to know about whoever or whatever 
is interviewing you in the background about it. And then when you know everything about that, then really look at yourself and figure out how you fit into there and have your questions to ask. Don't go in there and be the only one that's interviewed. You interview them, right? You got to make sure that it's good enough for you. So be prepared. Be prepared. Dress to impress. And when I said dress to impress, I wasn't thinking, you know, just impress them. Impress yourself. Like stand in there with, damn, yeah. I would hire me. I would ask me out for a date. I would uh, loan me money. Be prepared and dress to impress. The Five of Swords. Dress to impress. Maybe you made a bad impression at some other point. Because <laughs> that's like something that's come to an end. Oh, it's come to an end. Because like we got the final completion here with the world. What's come to an end? What came to an end? What is this? The Star... The Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. I'll tell you what's come to an end. is these fours. Getting some sort of balance and stability. The star. Healing. Healing. Healing's all finished. Healing's done. If you're not ready for, to finish your healing, then come back in a couple weeks and watch this again. Because the healing is all done. The new plan moving forward is something to do with the Four of Cups. Perhaps. Or it's, all, it's all water under the bridge I'm hearing, too. This status card The Page of Pentacles. Isn't that curious? Because a child will also bring great joy. A child will bring great joy and you have the Page of Pentacles for the status card. Is your kid going to do something here? Like really impressive even someone younger than you someone younger than you who could elevate your status your wealth the world this completion i'm not gonna go for the sun let me just wanna get it big the sun and the queen of cups wow really like gosh you know this <laughs> this reading sort of feels like um describe it is as if you're watching like if this this is kind of like the where the energy is going it reminds me of someone that you know people interview years later they're going to interview someone's going to interview you years later you're going to be on someone's video or something and it literally is going to look like you have it all <laughs> and you have this great house you have this great car you have this great family you take great vacations and um and then people go in and they want to interview you. They want to kind of see what it's really like in there. I was like, holy fuck, these people are really nice. They really love each other. It's really like a nice place. These people have it all. That's what it feels like. Scorpio, it feels like you have it all with the sun and the queen of cups. It's beautiful. Okay, so trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill. So what is this new skill? It's a great time to learn a new skill. Now, as I'm saying that, it feels like it's related to a changing career or an investment in money. There's definitely something going on with money here, Scorpio. There's a definite financial advantage coming your way. So the, the new skill could have something to do with, you know, what you do with this money or how you invest it. It's a good time to learn a new skill. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. That's a new skill. Getting past a barrier. Getting past a defense system. Bringing love into a situation. A new skill. It's very romantic, right, with the Knight of Cups? So that's a new skill, maybe. It's either, maybe you've never really romanced life or romanced a person or romanced an aspect of something that you, you want to achieve here. The Seven of Wands, 
you know, it could be like defending your dreams here, defending who you are, but it almost like doesn't even look like he's coming in, like to drop a barrier, coming in to drop a barrier. The achievement, the sun in Capricorn. It's interesting too, achievement with the eight of cups or the eight, the eight of cups, the eight of pentacles. I don't know if there's an emotional, maybe there is an emotional detachment. And that's why the Knight of Cups comes forward. But this achievement, Capricorn too, right? Like building something great here. This isn't something that's built in a day. This takes time to build. And the Eight of Pentacles, what is he doing but building something? So achieving it. Maybe you've achieved it or you're going to achieve it. Achievement. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, I'm just hearing Frankie. I did it my way with the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. It's a very uh, unique, stylish, dress to impress, fiery, passionate drive that can't be stopped. And it's met. So it's unique, but it's also met with a practical application creative but it's met with a practical application the ace of cups now maybe what that's what this knight of cups the queen of pentacles and the ten of swords you know some of you might be <laughs> Some of you might be meeting someone who, well, they might be younger than you with this page of pentacles. So they might be younger than you. They perhaps still have a lot to learn, but they've accomplished something here. And I feel like somebody has lost a partner with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So somebody's backstory here. So either someone has lost a partner, it could be like a romantic partner, it could be a business partner, it could be somebody has like quit a job or been fired. And like this open, so because of that, whatever avenue of life that is for you, there's like a new beginning and there's new emotions here. Some avenue of life has been closed off, either for someone or perhaps you, and it allows another avenue to come through. That too. The Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. It landed on the intuition. Mm. This is really trusting yourself and being creative. There's something about creativity here and the investment that can make for you. Time to learn a new skill that has to do with your creative drive. There's a lot of creativity here with the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Dreamy, wishful thinking, supported by passionate, intense drive with a practical application. Like it's, it's kind of a winning combination, honestly, because it's the combination that most people won't use. You know, and this, this could be it too. Like the Queen of Pentacles being very practical, balancing the budget. Um, okay, you know what? This is what happens when this company does that. So our company is gonna do this. And no, that's the end of that. There's something else here. And of course, right, there's, um, Because if you do it differently, but you apply it in a practical way. Is that you, Lily? Are you coming down? Why don't you catch the big beetle? I thought I heard my little dog on the stairs. Doing it differently. The Four of Cups. This is very meditative. Oh, right? Oh, all this opportunity stuff. This Five of Swords. I'm like, what is going on with that? You had the Star and the Four of Swords. That's a ton of healing and resting. The Seven of Pentacles. And once you've done that, you um, you kind of give yourself the opportunity, the ability to see a new way forward, a new way to plan. And the Four of Cups can kind of be being disenchanted. Oh, you get, what's wrong? Why are you sad? What's going, what's going on? Okay. Oh, we need a little. We need a little. Oh, 
ですか Scary sound. Scary sound. We'd have to edit. All right. Okay. I think something scared her. Something scared you. There's no thunder. Did you have a bad dream? Did you have a bad dream? Scorpio, I swear I had to edit that. That was a long time. I don't know if she had a bad dream. Or something so good. We cut out for a long time. And then she went outside. And then she had a treat. And I put her in her chair. Yeah, it reminds me of, you know, like when you're a little kid and you have a bad dream and you have trouble kind of grounding yourself again. You're good now? Oh, you're a good girl. Yeah, everything is okay. So now I'm trying to remember where I left off here. I think I was talking about disenchantment with the Four of Cups. So then you have the Four of Cups over here, but yet it looks more meditative. And what do we have here? Oh, Six of Pentacles. What the hell are you meditating on? Giving and taking. How much you have to give, how much you have to receive, honey. And trust your intuition. This is a really funny thing. It's like this new skill keeps coming up as a way for you to give from your heart. I don't know if that's like something, it's a it's a, a level of giving of yourself that you've not given before. All right, I wanna go to, let's go to revenge. <laughs> the revenge, it's funny because the sexuality, there's like two people having sex. Oh, there, <laughs> two people. He's cut off Medusa's head. And a little guy's bringing him like a, a little torch. Like, woohoo, look at you. All right. Revenge. Revenge is the underlying. Oh, revenge of the hermit. It's like revenge of the nerds. Revenge of the hermit. The hermit and the two of wands. Yeah, revenge of the hermit. Because this is like a sleeper energy. Oh, there is sleeping here. It's like the star and the four of swords. There's literally a sleeper energy here. And then you have the ace of wands. So excited. Yeah, just put it away. Not today. <laughs> no. This is revenge of the hermit. So you're coming out of some sort of period of perhaps isolation. All you have is you and your dreams with the two of wands. So yes. And then this. Okay. We got a lot of things to ask here. Sexuality, exciting, existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction. So what is that for you? That first part, what is that? Something you've been waiting a long time for. <laughs> Revenge of the hermit. Revenge of the hermit. Okay, so it's something you've been waiting a long time for. You've been very patient. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. Well, that's nice. So let's get something for that. Oh, this opportunity is a long-term opportunity. Like even if it's a partner, someone that you, you know, you do baba vooms with, whatever it is, it is, um, because you have that beware of temptation that could lead to trouble if you're single. So if there's opportunities coming your way, look at them in a broader way. Like these, there's more there than what meets the eye. Okay, you got the world, yeah. So you're closing something off. That was a lot of cards. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Harrowfinch, and the Six of Wands. So this is 
The opportunity for marriage and good family life are strong. Working together, having cake and wine. <laughs> I can see you having cake and wine with the status card. <laughs> The Hierophant and the Six of Wands. This is, there's a really good opportunity for a long-term commitment here. Whether that's like a personal between you and someone else, if it's a career or like investing your money, it becomes something. Any way you look at it, it all seems good. Well, then there's the cautionary tale there. There, if, but if single, beware of temptation, it could lead to trouble. There could, you could meet someone and you have a really strong sexual um, desire towards this person know it for more than just that it's more than just that it has the, the potential to be more than just that this is a really Scorpio feeling like it's like Scorpio falling in love and leading a life of whatever luxury is to you but the sex is amazing <laughs> beware of temptation okay this is the part that could lead to trouble Oh, judgment. Well, it's... Okay, revenge of the hermit, right? Revenge of the hermit. Judgment, so coming out, living again. You might look pretty hot. So be careful what, you, what fire you play with here. Ah, see, he's holding up this one something here. Ow! Oh. Did you have a partner in the past that cheated on you? And whether that was a business partner on some level, a colleague or a marital partner or romantic partner. You've, you've won, you've won the jackpot. If you had, I really feel like if you had a partner that cheated on you, you're about to win the jackpot, honey. Revenge of the Hermit. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so you're going to come out feeling pretty strong here. And maybe this Ace of Wands is something that's been held back for a long time. Just, you could feel very passionate. I feel like, I almost feel like I have to calm you down. Like, okay. If it's a very strong passion, oh, the little one's eye, yours are <laughs> just know it that it can be more. It can be more. And I really feel like that. For some of you, you had someone who cheated on you in some way here. And maybe this person that felt like they became quite successful. They leveled up, or they, I don't want to say leveled up because you're about to, the universe wouldn't be delivering this to you if you weren't a level up in yourself. I can't help but think that somebody cheated on you. And it doesn't have to necessarily, there's a lot of different ways you can cheat on a partner. Um, it's not just sexual. You can have, someone can cheat, like go to, like, let's say it's a woman and she's cheating on her husband by connecting with another guy and it's an emotional like she tells him everything things she doesn't tell her husband which in a way is in that in itself is also it's a level of cheating cheating of ah, there's some, something here that i can't help really coming the sun is at their feet this couple that's having sex the sun is at their feet this, oh, oh, so is the moon. The sun and the moon. You had someone cheat. Or someone. It's almost like someone left you because they thought they were achieving a greater status. But you are about to achieve a much higher status than what this person thought they were achieving by leaving you. <laughs> this is totally intuitive. And you are truly finding the yin and the yang, the sun and the moon. And you have been in a hermit, perhaps even like disconnected from the idea of partnership and whatever level that is for you and just your dreams. 
you and your dreams here. And it is literally the revenge of the hermit. Okay, so a child will also bring great joy. The five of wands. A child will also bring great joy with the five of wands. Do you have a child and there's been some sort of arguing? Something is going to be resolved. The child will bring great joy where there was once competition and a lot of competing opinions. Okay, signs. Last one. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Justice. Wow, the Nine of Swords. Gosh, any mental anxiety that you've had about your future? It'll, yeah, it's done. That's finished. It's a great reading. Good for you, Revenge of the... I don't want to say nerd, but Revenge of the Hermit. Three of Wands. Bring it in, baby. Oh, bring it in big and strong. <laughs> Three of Wands. The Knight of Wands. You know, be careful. There. This is exactly what I'm saying. Oh, come back for more. The Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and then it goes into the Ten of Cups, right? I'm not sure. So this knight, this three of wands with a knight of wands, it literally is like you are bringing in like a real passionate drive here. Passion, ignition, excitement. But then you got the ten of cups. It's almost like that, like this sexuality card that the passion and heightened sexual attraction is intense. But opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. If all you want is, um, you know, wham bam thank you ma'am kind of energy then you need to be aware that that could lead to trouble but you have an opportunity here that could just feel like oh my god this is just like crazy teenage hormonal passion but then you get the ten of cups it sits behind it it's really like you build on this emotionally and it's an emotional structure that's headed towards fulfillment that supports more than just yourself Oh my god, this fool. This fool card comes in after the Ten of Cups and it's very excited. <laughs> it's like that's like the coming back for more. But wait a second. That's coming in from two different sides here. You be careful. You might have more than one opportunity. Or you might start a relationship with someone. And this is emotional fulfillment. You might even have, okay, because you could also exist in relationships and you're getting like, there's something about you, I don't know, you're having a bit of a glow up or you're shining, all that solitary hermit energy has, uh, you know, caused you to just look great and be appealing to other people. And I think it's really good if you already have a relationship, it just makes things very fulfilled, very fulfilling. But this little one coming on the side here, you're attracting more and then the king of swords and the moon there's more to learn here <laughs> more to learn this reading is something else there's a lot to learn all right that felt like it went on a bit but it was because i had a little interruption she's okay now all right thank you scorpio i'm gonna go do your extended until next time do be gentle with yourselves bye